all this talk about Sony killing Blu-ray and physical media coming to an end is total nonsense. You've probably seen the reports and it's been all over social media that Sony is going to cut down its production and eventually stop producing Blu-ray discs. But what people aren't understanding is that they need to read a little bit further beyond the headline because that's not actually what's happening and this is not the end of an era. So let's just clear something up right at the front of this video. Sony is cutting production of Blu-ray discs, but it's cutting recordable media. That's like a BDR, a recordable Blu-ray. Those discs that you could buy, blank discs, put into your system, you know, burn something. That's what they're getting rid of because the demand for those has probably significantly fallen off, I assume. I don't know of a store that's carried those for many, many years. There's other ways of storage right now that people are, are you know, more inclined to use. Hard drive space has gotten cheaper and easier to get. So storage has become smaller, cheaper, discs don't make as much sense for pure storage anymore, photos, videos, whatever. So sure, it makes sense. They're killing that production and eventually they will stop making those BDRs, those recordable discs. First of all, that doesn't even mean those are going away because Sony is not the only company that makes those. But what it certainly doesn't mean is that movies and TV shows and even video games are going away. Because the difference is while Sony is manufacturing those Blu-ray discs and those recordable media discs at their factories, if you have a physical media release of like a video game or a movie, unless it's manufactured on demand, those are pressed at specific plants. One of them is in Mexico, which is why you see disc made in Mexico uh, and a lot of releases. And it's a totally different process from what Sony is doing manufacturing in Japan. Well, just to be clear, there's no concern that Sony is stopping production. In fact, Sony just signed a deal right with Disney and Fox to handle distribution of their physical media titles. And then Sony took that and packaged that deal with Lionsgate to pair up with studio distribution services to handle distribution of all of their stuff. So it was kind of this weird deal where like Sony grabbed the access to some of these catalog titles and I talked about that in a past video. And now they're giving that access to studio distribution services. And in reality, studio distribution services is going to be the main distribution retail channel manager manager for pretty much every major movie studio when it comes to physical media. So if Sony was getting out of that game, it makes no sense to sign those deals. And certainly what's happening in Japan and people losing their jobs, that always sucks. And I don't want to downplay that and minimize the impact that will have on some people, but it's not going to have an industry wide impact. And it's a very, very niche, tiny, specific portion of what blu-ray is so sony is still producing blu-ray discs they're still going to be working on uh remastering restorations they're going to be working on you know some of that pressing and authoring of those discs that's all part of their deal with lionsgate uh 20th century disney like this is what they're doing for those teams is helping them. All they're simply doing with studio distribution services is letting them handle distribution. SDS has a great channel into Walmart. They have Groove.com, their own direct to consumer website. So you'll probably start to see Sony, Fox, Disney, Lionsgate titles being sold more frequently at Walmart and in retail stores and sold potentially on Groove.com. I just wanted to clear this all up because I just think in today's day and age, right, this uh, a social media headline gets out there. Sony is stopping Blu-ray and that blows up and it's trending on Twitter and it gets, you know, sent to me 50 times on Instagram. And I appreciate like a heads up when news breaks like that. Um, but I think a lot of people didn't read past the headline. They simply see a headline and they go with it. And in reality, those headlines were mostly clickbait. They really were. They were clickbait because they knew that the story of physical media ending, whether it's movies or video games or TV shows, whatever, gets a lot of clicks because people get concerned and then it you know, goes viral on the internet and all that stuff. So it's pure clickbait. If you read the articles, some of them are actually pretty bad. Some of them don't even mention the details. They just go, Sony is shutting down production. Like journalism is at its worst right now because it's just about getting a click and nobody's doing any real research or reporting, which is why I tend to stay within the industry rather than reading something on some random website. You know, go look at what Bill Hunt has to say at the digital bits. He's the best journalist out there right now in the world of physical media. So there's nothing to be concerned about. 
Sony literally sent me two press release emails today for new titles that they're gonna be putting out on Blu-ray. They're not gonna stop next year. 2025 is gonna be a big year, especially with this deal. All you're seeing is just consolidation, which makes total sense. Studio Distribution Services, SDS, you're gonna to get to know that name because they are going to become the hub for all physical media, and it makes perfect sense. Why should Sony and Lionsgate and Disney and Fox when there's minimized profits and it doesn't make a ton of business sense anymore to have huge teams, why should they all have these internal teams doing the same work that SDS can do? So that you know, you send it all to SDS, they can grow, they can hire people in this industry, they handle all the distribution, they're gonna keep pressing the discs and authoring them and Sony's gonna keep doing that work for Disney and Fox and helping Lionsgate and helping that production. It's all things I've been talking about for years where they're gonna streamline all of this to make it work for everybody because if you have eight different studios doing eight different channels it becomes very difficult to remain profitable so they're streamlining they're consolidating and sony's probably just looking at the product overall and saying nobody's buying bdrs nobody's buying recordable media so we're going to cut some of that division for whatever reason in the last year or two when it comes to physical media everything's been physical media is dead it's dead it's dead it's dead we've been seeing these articles for three or four years in reality there's only more people making physical media than ever before and what these people don't realize who don't have any real interest in this industry other than getting clicks is that okay worst case scenario even say a sony stepped out or somebody else stepped out and did say they were stopping production of actual pressed Blu-ray discs. Even if they did do that, which they're not, you still have Kino Lorber in Criterion and Shout Factory, Shout Studios, and Arrow Video, and Vinegar Syndrome, and Umbrella Entertainment, and Via Vision, and I mean, Terror Vision, I mean, you name it. There's a million different labels out there that have popped up over the years that are now doing as great if not better work especially on some major studio titles than what some of the studios are doing like they're they're equally if not better than most of those places and so sure they're taking a very like narrow view of the industry and if you know if disney says something then it's over but in reality disney's been over for years they've been looking for ways out they're going to license stuff they picked sony to help them um you know other places like mgm which amazon owns like they're working with finger syndrome and kina lorber to get movies out now lionsgate is going to partner with sds sds been doing a great job with the universal and warner brothers stuff paramount is still doing their own line but they're licensing to arrow video and to vinegar syndrome so everybody's just coming together and making sure that this thing still stays alive and there's no reason to be concerned when there's so many different labels doing great work even outside of the major players so i hope this helps ease some of the uh, anxiety and the tension and the fears and everything else that people have had the last few days we're still in a great spot lots of great stuff coming in 2025 stuff that i can't even you know talk about yet or mention yet but i've been in some chats with people and it's like this is going to be a great next few years like we're we're starting to be at this great spot especially with 4k media um, but also in blu-ray with a ton of new titles that have never had releases before getting their day in the light on physical media so stay tuned for all of it it's gonna be really great thanks for watching hope this helped if you want more videos like this make sure you subscribe here on the channel you can also follow me on social media those links are in the video description as well as right here with the qr code and if you'd like to check it out i do have a new merch store with some cool physical media stuff ask me about my movie collection shirts and hats my podcast logo shirt house of a thousand movies if you haven't checked out the podcast do that if you enjoy it you can grab a logo shirt there's some other cool like vintage physical media shirts on there and i'm gonna be adding some more designs as well so give give that a shot links of that will be in the description as well Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Stay safe. Stay healthy out there. Don't worry about physical media. And I'll talk to you soon.